NASCAR is all about speed, on and off the track. While the races themselves last just four hours, the process behind the scenes spans hundreds of hours. From buying the components, building race cars, and transporting them to the track, this is the blueprint of a NASCAR supply chain. Yeah, so, you know, previously uh, my role would have been involved in, in a lot of uh, discussions around uh, design and manufacture of new parts and pieces uh, for the old car to try to, you know, get more speed out of it. Uh, with this new car, the conversations and, and the mindset has shifted to, you know, dragging as much speed out of these common parts as you possibly can, not necessarily uh, redesigning them or manufacturing new parts. You know, we basically have about 50 people that are responsible for the assembly and the maintenance of the vehicle before it gets handed off to the, uh, the group of uh, individuals that are actually going to take it to the racetrack and compete. Uh, and that's split up amongst about, you know, 50% that work on the, the body side of things and 50% that work on the mechanical side of things. Uh, with the old style car, you would have had around 30 to 40% more people on the body hanging and chassis building side uh, than you do now. You know, obviously trying to get this car on track last year, there were several uh, design changes that came about late uh, in the process, and, and so that slowed the, uh, the rollout uh, of, of the number of parts that we had to start the season down considerably. Uh, when you pile that on top of, you know, just the, the global shortage in raw material uh, from metal to plastics to carbon, um, it, it created an extreme challenge you know, throughout the entire supply chain uh, that, that made the, the start of last season you know, pretty difficult. Yeah, so every part that we bring in from our supplier uh, has the part number and then a unique serial number assigned by the, uh, the provider or by the, uh, the supplier. Uh, once it enters into our system, uh, depending on how it's been marked uh, by the supplier, uh, we'll either laser engrave it or add our own uh, QR code to it to then enter it into our database uh, and track it you know, throughout its life uh, using you know, a handheld scanner uh, to make the data entry of that a lot easier. In terms of changes to the NASCAR industry, uh, you know, this was a, a complete 180 shift from how we had sourced parts and, and built cars in the past. You know, throughout the history of NASCAR, uh, teams either took raw material and built a car or they took a car off the showroom floor and built it. And, and obviously this model is 180 from that where you've engaged uh, you know, numerous vendors that, that uh, provide a part uh, that's within their specialty and then the teams you know, assemble and service that. So I would say it's a, a fundamental shift in, in how we uh, provide a vehicle uh, to go race. Although we don't have the manufacturing uh, capabilities that we did in the past, having a partner like Fastenal that has uh, global visibility to the entire uh, supply chain to the manufacturing and uh, service sector uh, has given us a great resource to lean on uh, to really you know, get some best practices on how to navigate these waters. Uh, and that's paid us, uh, paid huge dividends to us as we've uh, managed this situation and, and produced some pretty good results along the way.